Hello, cryptopreneurs, and welcome to the Daily Five. Today, we're diving into cryptocurrency and politics. Where do some of the 2020 presidential race contenders stand on crypto and blockchain technology? What are their concerns? Who endorses it? And who's pushing against it? Be sure to check out our show notes for links to the full articles. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us on CryptoTraderNews.com, where we have daily articles in and around the crypto and blockchain space. First up in the Daily Five is asking a question. Is cryptocurrency and politics a bad combination? Some people might think so, especially if you hate government intervention or when they're butting into your financial life. This opinion piece highlights some of the cryptocurrency and blockchain issues that are heading to Congress and where there might be pushback from both sides of the political aisle. Love him or hate him, President Donald Trump doesn't hold back his thoughts. And in July of 2019, he tweeted his opinion about cryptocurrency, specifically Facebook's Libra and how unregulated crypto assets could help facilitate criminal behavior. Now, I suppose it's his job to keep the US dollar the dominant currency. And to be fair, there is a history of bad actors in crypto, even today with hackers and thieves who take advantage of the system. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Do you think he's right to be concerned about cryptocurrency? Leave a comment and let me know. And in another article regarding President Trump, Soon after his tweet, crypto Twitter was abuzz with hypothetical scenarios where Bitcoin could be banned. Did it shake crypto confidence at all? No, it was barely reflected in the markets. But economists and traders agreed that it would be nearly impossible for world leaders to completely ban cryptocurrency. Certainly, they could make it difficult for people to attain, trade, or use it for payment. But people are innovative. You know that saying, where there's a will, there's a way. One political figure in the 2020 race for president doesn't really have a background in politics. He's an advocate for universal basic income and his ideas are beginning to gain traction and public support. This man is Andrew Yang, and he's one of the few who publicly supports blockchain and cryptocurrency. Read more about it in Crypto Trader News. And last in the Daily Five, we're sharing some insight into what some of the other Democratic contenders in the 2020 presidential race are saying about cryptocurrency. Basically, it's not a whole lot, and that could be due to a lack of understanding or being too busy on the campaign trail. But whatever the reason, all eyes are on Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and Bernie Sanders in this opinion piece. Thank you for watching The Daily Five. If you like this content, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join us at CryptoTraderNews.com, where you'll find links to our social media and new content is published every day on our website. There's also an opportunity to join our exclusive Crypto Trader Pro platform, where serious traders get exclusive insights and perks. See you soon.